Problem solving. Question 1. Write a fraction with a denominator of, of 9. The fraction should be less than 1 half. So it can be 1 ninth, 2 ninth, 3 ninth, and even 4 ninth. Question 2. Which is greater, 3 sevenths or 2 thirds? So 3 sevenths should be less than 1 half. So maybe it is around here, 3 sevenths. And 2 thirds will be more than 1 half. Maybe it is around here. So using 1 half as a benchmark, 2 thirds will be greater than 3 sevenths. Similarly, let's use a different color. 1 eighth should be around here, maybe, maybe here, less than 1 half. And 2 fifths would be more than 1 half. So maybe it is around here, 2 fifths. So 1 eighth is less than 2 fifths. And let's use a different color again. So we're going to order these fractions from least to greatest. So let's do it over here. 1 seventh, 3 fifths, 3 eighths, and 8 ninth. So we're going to order from the least to the greatest. Now, for this, we can actually do it by sight. So for 1 seventh, it will be the least. For 8, it's 9. For 8 ninth, you will be the greatest. And then now we're just left to compare between 3 fifths and 3 eighths. So we'll ask ourselves, so for 3 eighths, we are dividing our whole into 8 equal parts, and we are only having 3 parts. So 3 eighths should be less than 3 fifths. Problem solving. Question 1. We have to shade a fraction greater than 1 fourth but less than 1 half. So this is 1 half. And we have to shade one that is more than 1 fourth. So 1 fourth is around here. So we have to shade one that is more than 1 fourth but less than 1 half. So this would be more than 1 fourth but less than 1 half. Question 2. So Sam wants to shade two thirds of the figure. So if we are to divide this into three parts, so this would be one third, and this would be another one third. And these two will make up two thirds. So some squares are already shaded. So how many more squares should we shade? So we have to shade these two more, and we have to shade these two more. Question three, we have to shade one third. We have 12 squares over here. So one third of 12 squares would be four. So this would be one third. Next, we have to shade one fourth of 12. One fourth of 12 would be three. So if the shade three, Lastly, we have the shade 1 12 of 12. 1 12 of 12 is 1, so we're shading one more. So what fraction is shaded? So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, equal parts all together. So 8 12th of the figure is shaded. 